Hey, Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com and I made this video because I know a lot of guys are very insecure about their size and it really uh, hurts your confidence, especially in the bedroom. So I have brought on a special sex expert. Her name is Laurel House, who's gonna give you some very good news for you if you think that you are too small or insecure about it altogether. So in just a second, I'm gonna cut to her, but real quick, if you wanna learn how to be able to build tension with a woman when you're with her, so you guys actually end up in the spot where she is jumping your bones, then I want you to pick up Trip's tension technique. It's 100% free. Just click on the uh, link in the description below and you're gonna see a demonstration of me and another girl doing the tension technique to be able to turn her on. So go get that and right now, here is Laurel House. Thanks Trip. Hey guys, I'm Laurel House. I'm a sex expert for men and I have three positions that are great for guys who have smaller penises. But first, let me just say that while 45% of men think that they have small penises, which is statistically totally inaccurate, 85% of their women are very happy with their partner's penis. So stop breaking yourself down. Also keep in mind that women generally orgasm in two areas vaginal orgasm and clitoral orgasm. Clitoral orgasm is surface. Vaginal orgasm is hitting the G-spot, which is only a couple of inches inside, so a smaller penis is actually hitting up against the G-spot repeatedly. So you might actually be lucky to have a smaller penis because you are hitting that thing over and over if you're doing it right. Now, first of all, when you're having sex, if you have a smaller penis, instead of doing the in and out, you want to think about rocking grinding and doing a swivel and screw motion. That way you're staying right in the spot and just hitting over and over and over. Also, there's types of furniture that you can get. Um, there's a libera liberator wedge that can help to lift you up, lift her up, and put you in the exact right space. Okay, so the first one is missionary. Now, I'm not just talking about traditional missionary. If you have a smaller penis, traditional missionary might be a little bit tough. There are two types that are perfect with small penises. Number one is your woman is laying down and you are laying down flat on top of her, okay? You're gonna have your pelvis just a little bit higher than her pelvis to make sure that you're hitting it directly in and then just pushing, 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 right? So I said rocking and grinding or doing a swivel and screw. The other missionary style is she's laying on her back and you're doing a really low squat above her. This makes it so that your penis is hitting directly into her vagina, okay? So it looks kind of like this. I'm the guy, okay? So she's laying and you're gonna be like this. So if you're not flexible, this is gonna be tough, but you're gonna be like this, and then you're just pushing right into the spot, and then you know doing a very small movement in order to keep on grinding and rocking in there. Now, with missionary, this is generally not as much about a vaginal orgasm. This is a clitoral orgasm, which is perfect because not only is your penis probably possibly hitting inside of her in her G-spot, but your pelvis is pushing up against her clit over and over and over and over. All right, the next is doggy style. So doggy style position allows, if she is also arching her back, so she really needs to be arched, then you can get right in there. If she's not arching, her vagina is lower and it's gonna be hard to get in if your penis is smaller. So, because then there's butt and butt is, taking up space. So she needs to really arch so that you can get in there. And then again, you're going to do the rocking, the grinding, and the swivel and screwing. Finally is scissors. So scissors is where you're gonna be laying on your back, she's on top of you, and your legs are crisscrossed. Okay, so you're here, and she has one leg here and one leg here, and then she's sitting on you. So she is sitting directly down on your penis, and that way she always has deep contact with you, okay? And then she is doing the rocking and the swiveling and the grinding instead of doing the up and down. Up and down, and you're gonna fall out, and that's not what we want. So. Obviously, she knows what's going on too. It doesn't need to be a whole like embarrassing thing because there is nothing wrong with small penis. And there are two other really great things that you can do with small penises. 
oral sex. <laughs> Guys with small penises are often amazing when it comes to oral sex. So, yes, and anal sex because your penis is smaller, it's not gonna hurt her, it's actually gonna feel really good, and you can wrap your hand around and finger her clit, <laughs> and or put your finger inside of her and give her a G-spot orgasm also. And it actually feels really good. A lot of women actually really do like anal sex as long as it's not a penis that's massive and is tearing them while you're doing it. So those are three sex positions and two bonus positions, the oral and the anal, that are perfect for guys with smaller penises. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about me and watch my videos, then go to my YouTube channel, Dating Laurel, and you're going to hear about all sorts of dating tips on how to pick up women, what to say, what to do uh, from a woman's perspective. I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. There's some pretty good stuff there, so I hope that you took notes. Don't forget to check out her YouTube channel. I'll put that in the description below. And don't forget to get Trip's Tension Technique, where you can learn how to build tension with a girl. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next video.